Capricorn. Welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Before we get into your weekly outlook for love, let me just let you all know that this month I'm giving away the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook box set. It's a beautiful box set and it's the cards that I do use in this reading. All right. So all you have to do to be eligible um, is to be subscribed to my channel and to leave me a comment on any video letting me know that you're interested. All right. All right, my lovely Capricorns. Uh, for Capricorns and cross watchers and anybody who's been guided to this video by their own guides and spirits and uh, guardians, I welcome you. All right. I hope that you get the messages you've been guided to get out of this reading. And we're going to get right into pulling out your romance angel messages. Then we'll pull out your animal spirits and your cards and then we'll get right into your reading. All right, Capricorn, straight out. We have very soon, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. And we also have let your friends help you. We have the lion, strong. The golden egg, wow. So you have a strong fire animal spirit with the lion. And then you have the golden egg, which is a strong animal spirit associated with the heart. Pulling out your cards. The person is resonating with five of cups, Capricorn, and you're resonating with the king of cups. They see you as justice, and you see them as a four of pentacles energy. And they see their role in the relationship, and your and as a four of swords, you see your role as temperance. All right. So bottom of the deck, we have three of cups. So three. Of so right away, Capricorn. Um, I see you are dealing with some issues here. There's some worries about money. There's some issues to do with legal matters. Let's get right into it. Uh, your person is resonating with Five of Cups and you, King of Cups. So this is how you guys are resonating coming into the week. And sometimes this can be a relation to each other. It's just in your own self how you're feeling. Your person is resonating with Five of Cups. So they're really consumed with a sense of regret. I'm going to say and sadness and grief for something that's happened in the past. The relationship that they've lost or let go of in the past. It could be just a sense of sadness that they're going through, melancholy over uh, having lost something, right? Or just dreaming of um, days gone by, right? And the mistakes they may have made. Just really a sense of, um, I want to say, grief and a lot of times regret. You're, re you're resonating with King of Cups, and so you're really being very strong and dominant right now as far as your relationships are concerned. The King of Cups is really the one who sort of takes control, right? He's the fire of it all. And a lot of times he's the one in the relationship who really sets down the rules and regulations in a way. Not that you have rules and regulations in your love and connection, but... The King of Cups is certainly the most dominant one in the relationship if he's showing up in the reading. So this is, you know, the one who, you know, it's the king's, um, he feels it's his responsibility to uh, establish the commitment, lock down the commitment, take care of the family. You know, he has a certain idea of what roles everyone is playing, who he is and who his, uh, his mate or his partner's role is. And so it's a very definitive way of, you know, idea of what a relationship should be. And this is a real authoritative energy. So Capricorn, you, you kind of have this position. I'm not really so surprised because your person is right now really kind of you know, emotionally all over the place and they're not really right so present in the moment right now, whereas you indefinitely are present in the moment and taking responsibility for a lot that is going on in the relationship. Now, how do you guys see each other? Capricorn, your person sees you as justice and you see them as four of pentacles. So that's interesting. Um, you may be Capricorn. Maybe you work in the field of justice. Maybe you're someone like a lawyer or a judge, a mediator, or someone who works in that area. They see you as resonating with justice energy. So I feel like it's interesting because you have two major arcanas and a strong court card. It could very well be that... Um, Either you work in this area of field, Capricorn, or your person associates you with justice because through you, I think they feel like they may be getting a sense of justice in their lives, right? It could be... Um 
I want to get deeper into it. I'm going to pull more cards, but it could be that with you, they see balance coming back into their lives because you are represent, representing a rebalancing force to them. Like I said, you could also be someone who's in that field, right? Now you're seeing them as a four of pentacles. So you're seeing them really resonating with a lot of financial fear, which is interesting, right? Because four of pentacles is someone who uh, is very worried about their finances, losing their finances, you know, having it threatened, having their stability threatened. And this is how you see them. So it's like, this is the energy you see them reson resonating with right now. So it's like your person is in a really dark space. Not only are they themselves like resonating with this sense of regret, but Capricorn, you see them also sort of resonating with this sense of fear as well over money. It could be that a relationship in the past they may indeed be uh, regretting severing ties with a relationship in the past, and now there may be some financial implications. This doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a family relationship, you know. It's a relationship. Not all cups are automatically, you know, sexual romantic uh, connections. But in any case, this is, you know, this is like connected here with this energy, and it's quite like, wow, you know, you're dealing, your person is dealing with a lot. Now, how do you guys see your roles in a relationship? Well, they are coming in, seeing their role as a four of swords, so they're really trying to strategize their next move. How do they get over this hump, whatever this hump is? And you're resonating with temperance. Temperance is the card for Sagittarius, and justice is the card for Libra. So you're resonating with temperance in the sense that you're really trying to stay very calm and not let any of what's going on right now move you off your square, right? And I think that's the attitude that you're setting as a result of this King of Cups. Like, So it's like you're the one who's trying to keep everyone happy and together in this union, and part of the way that you're doing that is by exercising temperance and not allowing other people's energy to sort of infect you. I think your person's really worried about money. And uh, we're going to get some clarifiers. And again, it could very well be that this is somehow connected either to friends or family. Now, the lion is there and the, and the egg is there, right? The golden egg. And the lion really talks about ma mastering oneself, self-mastery, having a purpose in life that is like a vision or uh, an aim, a purpose that is only ever geared towards mastering yourself. It doesn't really have any time for anything else. So this is quite interesting that the spirit of the lion, lion will be coming in right now because circumstances are probably challenging either you or your person or both of you to bring that energy, to bring that focus on controlling yourself, mastering yourself. You already have temperance energy here, which is a sense of self-mastery already. But it could just be that things that are happening during this next week, events or experiences, are really testing the limits of this. Then you also have the golden egg, which indicates that a lot of the experiences you guys are going to be going through the next week or so are going to be experiences to do with the heart that require your heart chakra to be open. So there may be some healing, some forgiving, some learning that's going on. Uh, there may be some compassion or some empathy that a particular situation is required, is requiring, right? So Ten of Pentacles, wow. And strength, there's strength again. So the lion showing up, strength showing up again. Five of Cups, wow. Five of Cups has come out again, and now the Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Cups at the bottom. So Ace of Cups indicates a new opportunity for love, certainly, a new fountain of love. Now, Ace of Cups is a potentiality. The Aces all represent the essence of the suit and the potential for experiencing that essence. And what I find interesting here is that, yes, the love is here, but now you... <laughs> The Five of Cups has come out to clarify over here also. So something here is definitely to do with money. I think with family. We do have Three of Cups here. And Three of Cups is, oh, and look what's underneath the Three of Cups. So we've got two aces. Wow. Three of Cups is the card 
for gathering and celebrating with like-minded people, with light, with your tribe, with your family, with your friends, right? Three of Cups is a bonding exercise. And I'm going to leave that over here because I like the fact that the Ace of Cups was underneath here. We're having two double Ace of Cups because there is a lot of love here, Capricorn. A lot of love, but there's something else going on. And especially with that uh, heart chakra egg, the golden egg being there, reminding us to keep our heart chakra open. There is definitely something going on on here. Now your person is resonating. Let's get into the clarifiers. Your person is resonating with 10 of pentacles and strength. So there's someone who's really used to having a lot of success. Now 10 of pentacles is old money. A lot of times it can be the card for money that comes from the family, that comes from lineage, that comes from, you know, generations and generations and generations of power and accumulating wealth. Sometimes Ten of Pentacles is the symbol of that because it's that kind of wealth that is... Uh, that encourages sort of, you know, the, the lineage going on. You have everything you need to support and sustain the furtherance of your sort of seed, your family, etc. A Ten of Pentacles is also a sense of completion. But here, what I'm saying is I feel like your person is dealing, you're dealing with a person who's used to a lot of money. They're used to a family who have a lot of money. And something's going on here that perhaps they were cut off. They might have either been cut off or something happened along the way and they're really having to exercise a lot of strength. They're really having to not succumb to their emotions. There is justice. They see you as justice. So something to do with you is definitely rebalancing the situation. It could be something like, you know, maybe their family wants them to get married and they realize the only way that they can get back into the family is by marrying you. That could be a way of seeing you as a form of justice or rebalancing. It's not that they're manipulating you or using you, Capricorn, but some kind of pressure is definitely coming in. And I believe it's from family because of that Ten of Pentacles. It's certainly a financial pressure. It's something that's impacting you guys financially or it's certainly impacting your person financially. And um, I think you, to a certain degree, are kind of all right. I think perhaps you're feeling like, well, look, the money isn't all that important. We can always get more money. We can always do that. Uh, what's important is keeping our heart open and, and making sure to keep the love going. Let's, You know what I mean? And so Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, we want to renew the love. Sometimes Ace of Cups can be reconciliation as well. It can be a sense of renewing a relationship that's been dead. It's like it flows again. Now you're resonating with Five of Cups. And so you understand also a sense of regret and loss. But you have this Queen of Pentacles sort of ambitious looking forward attitude. So I think it's kind of like, it feels to me, Capricorn, this could even be like you guys are married or in a long-term relationship and you both want, either had a falling out with their family or you had a falling out with yours. I believe it's their family, Capricorn. This is an example of what could be going on, but I feel like it might be this. And it's like, you guys maybe have been alienated or I want to say estranged for the family for a long time, but there's an issue to do with money here. There's also an issue to do with re uh, committing to the love, you know, rebonding here with the love. There is love in a family that's been lost as a result of things having split off. I think people are regretting it, you know, because of so much love being around. It could be that just tempers ran hot at one point. You guys had a falling out. But now there's money involved. Now there's, you know, uh, legal issues perhaps even involved. And your person is really trying to figure out what's the best move to make. You're really trying to be just strong and tempered. You yourself are resonating with Queen of Pentacles. So you have your own sense of ambition and money and I want to say abundance but this is seems to me to be very much separate from what's going on here. So Capricorn, you probably still have your own sort of path or work, career, abundance, family, whatever that you rely on that's not being impacted by this. I feel like this is definitely a situation that's coming from your lover's side, right? And it's their side, it's their family's money, so they're the ones who are feeling the pressure the most. Meanwhile, you're you're like, okay, we'll be all right, honey. I mean, I'm still working. I still have my business, right? Okay, and so it's just a case of being strong. Let your friends help you at times like this and really try to think about, again, very soon comes in, think about what you want. Talk to your person and figure out what you want because there's an opportunity here for you to open up your heart chakra and really master your emotions to not make a situation worse, but actually use a situation that seems to 
maybe have come out as a result of a discussion or argument about money recently, but it feels like an opportunity to heal old wounds by opening up your heart, by being strong, by being willing to sort of really have an idea of what it is you truly desire here. Because uh, yes, the worry over money and things like that has erupted this, but now at least you guys are talking again. It feels like that, you know, and feel and it feels to me like, well, here we have an opportunity for whatever reason to perhaps go in there and fix all of this regret, five of cups from the past. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that, my lovely Capricorns. This is the March 29th to the April 5th Love Outlook. Please do not forget to let me know if you're interested with the, for, or the running of the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck and Guidebook. I will be announcing the winner on March 31st, and all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and let me know that you're interested in a comment, and that's it. So for right now, I'm just going to say Capricorn, have a wonderful week. I love you so much. I hope this gave you the clarity that you were guided here to get. All right, guys. And I hope to see you soon at Bow and Arrow Tarot. Bye-bye now.